Nope. 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 Mm -mm. No way. Never gonna happen. I'm planning on living forever, so don't worry. I'm sticking around. But just in case, I really do want to plan for it. Because accidents happen and things happen and life doesn't always end up the way you expect. So today I'm going to get a little bit uncomfortable and talk about what happens if I die. We'll be talking more about like budgeting and personal finance, not the fact that Mauricio is off celebrating. Ding dong, the witch is dead, witch old witch, the wicked witch. Did I just sing for YouTube? Because that's it. No, actually, he'll be very, very sad. Really, really sad. Why? Because it's number one on the things to do when I die list. Number one, be very, very, very sad. Number two, keep being very, very, very sad. Can you tell I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable? Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia, my husband Mauricio, and my seven-year-old Melina and I are on the debt-free journey of our lives. We are going to pay off over $300,000 worth of debt, and we're right about to cross two-thirds of the way done. I am like so incredibly psyched. So today I'm going to be answering a question from Chris who left me this message on one of my organization videos. I pay all of the bills, organize the banking, all automated transfers, all investments, everything around the house. How do I make it so others, my husband, kids, guardians, would understand what is going on should something happen to me. So today I'm going to tell you what I have done, being that I am definitely the budgeting nerd in this family. And yeah, Mauricio prefers to, you know, be the, tell me how much money I can spend and I'll spend it kind of person. While I say this, you have to keep in mind that I am like crazy person organized. Literally every single thing in my life has a system and a method. There's just, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ridiculous about it. So if you're looking for like over the top organization of your finances and what you're going to need to do, then, you know, you have come to the right place. <laughs> so Chris, what I did is that I, we years ago, before we went to Mexico, we purchased a fire safe. In the safe, it has a lock on it and I have put the keys. Mauricio knows exactly where the keys to the lock, where the keys to our storage unit, all of that. I quiz him regularly, not even joking. That is his one task to remember should I die is where are the keys? And he thus far has passed every quiz. He does know where they are. So I don't, you know, expect him to remember a lot, but I do hope that he remembers that one little thing. Once he gets into the fire safe, there are actually written directions on how I budget, what is auto-drafted, all of the links to every single account we use and its associated password. And I'm not talking just like budgeting stuff. I'm talking like my YouTube channel, everything. If he wanted to get on anything, it is there in the fire safe. Also in there is our will. Although it is somewhat out of date, we do need to update our will. Um, our will, a copy of our will is in there. But the people that are directly impacted by the will are also in in possession of the most current copy with the exception of Melina. She's obviously directly impacted it and has no copy. Her guardians have a copy of our will. My parents have a copy of our will. So should there be an issue, there are multiple copies around, but there is a copy of the will in the fire safe. And there's also a copy with our attorney. So there are online wills you can use, but I have seen so many people do them wrong and not in accordance with their state. And then their stuff ends up in probate that I actually recommend forking out the money for an attorney to draft it. It is not cheap but it is worth it for your your heirs and the people that you'd be leaving money because you don't want them to have to stress and worry about something like that should something happen to you you want them to be taken care of and so one of the first steps to taking care of them is to do your will correctly and make sure it's legal and make sure everything is okay. And really think about it and, and 
you know, if you want to get super specific, great. If you don't, if you only have one kid like we do, then, you know, it doesn't have to be super specific. So this part of the video is where it gets a little morbid. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, in our fire safe are some letters that I drafted to Mauricio. I haven't made Mauricio do the same letters, but I'm planning on it. Um, I just haven't discussed them with him yet. So, hey, Mauricio, guess what you're going to be doing in the future? Because I know he watches all my videos. In the fire safe, there are some letters. There's a letter to Mauricio from me. And it's just, aside from the directions, the directions are separate. It's an it basically like how much I love him letter. Additionally, there are letters to Melina in there. And these letters would be for major milestones in her life that I might miss. And the greatest joy in my life is tearing up one of those letters because I've seen the milestone. So yeah, it's, it, it was horrible to write those letters. Truly, truly, truly horrible. But I wrote her letters for all of her major milestones. The next one is like her teens. When she turns 13 and becomes a teenager, she has a letter. And then there's another one for when she graduates from high school and another one when she graduates from college. And another one when she starts dating, which would obviously be before graduation from high school and college. Probably. Well, not if Mauricio has anything to say about it. She'll be like 40 when she starts dating if Mauricio has anything to say about it. One when she gets married and then one when she has children. And should none of these events happen in her life, should she choose never to get married or have kids, that's okay. I just, these, these are things that I have information that I wanted to pass on to her and tell her how much I love her and support her. It's a really morbid thing to think about, but it's super important that you leave something for your family for when you're gone. And let them know that you love them. Let them know that they were important to you. So it's not just about knowing how to clean out the lines on the, on the ice maker. It's not just about knowing how to do the laundry. Mauricio already knows how to do the laundry. So thank goodness I don't have to leave that note. But you know, there's, there's things that he, that I do that he doesn't know how to do. And, and so those are things that are important too, but not only that, it's important that he knows and Melina knows that they mattered to me and that they were the most important things in my life. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.